Hey, good morning, everybody. Ty Metalhead, Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well today. So we've been wanting to talk about this a little bit more in detail, and here we are finally. We can talk about the tropics. We've been having to do a lot of live streams lately with severe weather. So a couple things to talk about, of course. We have Invest 90L. This is the first this, uh, Invest area that we've been looking at all year, and then we have a new area of interest that is expected to pop up right around the end of this weekend or in the early part of next week this already has a 40 percent chance of developing over the course of the next seven days over the next 48 hours i'm not really expecting much anything nor is anyone else but this is going to be an area that we may have to watch for an actual tropical depression like this will become much more than a wave pretty quickly and it's funny that we mention that because in the tropical outlooks, we've been talking about maybe some areas in the Gulf becoming a little bit more favorable for development over time. And lo and behold, here we are. We'll go ahead and take a look at the members here to take a look at what this low pressure could look like and the probability of where it could go over the course of the next couple of weeks. Notice how this area begins to brighten up with color here. That's usually showing that heightened probability of a system developing. And then you see these isobars starting to tighten up just a little bit here. Do I expect this to be a world breaking hurricane? No, not even close. But the probability of something developing increases more and more over time. And then even if you look beyond that point, I could see a couple other areas trying to develop. And keep in mind, like I said, this is June. June's usually a really slow month. The fact that we could see at least two, maybe even three areas for uh, at least invest and maybe even a tropical depression that's eerily busy if i were to say so but in any case though we need to keep an eye on the gulf coast over the course of the next couple of weeks for at least the threat of flooding rainfall maybe an isolated tornado and some strong winds here and there this uh last invest that was going out to the atlantic is going to be on the edge of a frontal boundary so the showers and storms will continue for this area we'll get towards what that could look like at the end here we looked at the gfs ensemble here is the european ensemble and for the most part we're going to see a pretty similar look maybe not quite as much confidence starting out but this storm does look a tiny bit better still not expecting a world breaking hurricane or anything like that maybe we could end up getting a tropical storm depending on how this trends from that point in fact the euro is still actually coming in as we speak i think it just finished uploading in fact but in any case though across the board here i'm definitely thinking over the course of the next couple of weeks the gulf's gonna have to be watched extremely close so as far as the wind shear is concerned and that's gonna still help limit the storms but like I said before, we're on that trend where we're going to start to see this weaken over time. Really, the speed of the storm is going to kind of determine how things end up going as we go forward here. As you can see, we do get a low pressure area that pops up here on the screen. Like I said, it doesn't seem like it gets too much stronger than about a thousand or any lower than a thousand millibars. The lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. But Usually it's a really big red flag whenever you start to get under a thousand millibars. That's usually a very strong low pressure system. And we never really seem to drop below that at any point. So there's some good news to be had there. Now there's some bad news though, as we all mentioned before. See this, this is that wind shear that I was talking about that's gonna help keep those hurricanes at bay, that's weakening. So as we get towards the end of the month, things start to become a lot more favorable for tropical development and this is not just showing on the gfs ensemble this is also showing on the euro ensemble so here's the early phase here's that tropical low stays about at the same kind of intensity but look what happens right after like i said that's a troubling sign here but in any case, I was trying to make sure I have this uh, fully loaded here because the wind shear and low pressure center for all the uh, level of the atmosphere, it takes a little bit longer for it to load than the uh, ensemble members that we were just looking at. But in any case, though, like I said, 
whether it's GFS or the Euro, at some point we start to see that wind shear begin to taper off here. And this is likely to lead to a more favorable environment. So again, if you're over towards the Caribbean, Gulf Coast states are looking to head into the Caribbean, definitely need to be paying attention as we get further along into the month. Now, getting into the GFS here, and this is the newest GFS that's coming in, so we're gonna go back. We're kind of on a model cusp here, as, far, as I like to call it, where we're seeing the new models begin to update here, but this is all the time I have before I go to work, so I'm just working with what I got. But in any case here, Invest in IDL is right here. This is gonna be heading out to sea, but like I said, it's gonna be kind of hinged to this front here. So this is gonna create opportunities for more showers and thunderstorms around the Florida Peninsula, especially towards the central and southern peninsula. As time goes on, eventually that finally moves out. And then, like I said, then we're watching towards the Bay of Campeche for this next system here. Now, interestingly enough, even though the ensemble models aren't quite showing a stronger storm, we do see indications of a stronger low pressure from the operational GFS run. So like I guess it said, it still has to be watched here. Like I said, I don't expect a world breaking tropical system of any kind with this, but in any case though, this is definitely going to bring heavy flooding rains, particularly to Mexico and also maybe towards the Texas coast here. It looks like the storm mainly is gonna to stay towards the Western part of the Gulf. So Florida might get a break. And then interestingly enough, and this was showing up on the GFS ensemble run. We saw another area of low pressure pop up here. And this kind of coincides perfectly with that time frame where we start to see that wind shear begin to weaken a little bit. So we are gonna have to keep an extra close eye on that as time goes on here. And while yes, it's 240 plus hours out, that's more than 10 days. Seeing a storm system like this definitely is an eye opener for sure. We'll have to see what the ensembles and other models end up showing here, but that may require a little bit more monitoring on this end here. What I find interesting as well is the fact that it stalls off the coast. I don't know if I'm fully on board with that, but in any case though, that is a very alarming signal to say the least. Of course, we're mainly only looking at one model. In fact, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a look at something really quick. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna check the uh, European model as well. because so I just wanna make sure that we have something here. Normally I don't do two models in one video, or at least if I do, I don't want the split screen. But in this one, this is a kind of a real time thing. I'm not gonna have too much time to edit this. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a look, a much closer look at this one. So that's our system from the Bay of Campeche. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's not a ton of model continuity or model agreement right now. So that's a good that's good news for now. But what, like I said, that's still something that we're gonna have to keep an eye on. If Europe, if the uh, Euro picks up on this and some of the other models fall, uh, kind of fall in line, that is definitely an alarming look here. But in any case, though. Make sure you're staying tuned to the channel. Make sure you're hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, also hitting that share button as we continue to go forward here through hurricane season. In case you missed it, very active season forecast, and it looks like we might be off to an early start here. But until next time, stay safe. We'll see you this afternoon with a video on the weather pattern ahead here for the lower 48. But until then, it's Tire Metalhead Weatherman. Have a nice rest of your day.